Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here first thing in the morning. We have picked up a new loco. Did go with the classic Eureka. Still great for this one is mainly running on flat ground. So great locomotive for that. Gonna use it. Get it in there while we can. And uh, picked up two of the tier three cars. This one's gonna be for moving oil barrels. So we're gonna go out and get our first load of oil barrels. See if we can get those delivered today. And how that all is gonna go. All right, fuel, water. Did just fill it up with water. Make sure everything is hooked up here. Just getting out of the station for the first rollout. Classic. Don't get a chance to run Eureka very often anymore. Been a long time, so kind of fun to actually get out into the old Eureka there. Definitely plenty of oomph and everything else for this run. Nothing big here. No hard work involved. Everything nice and flat. Just going to be running around trips for oil barrels. But it's, you know, the old Eureka. We struck oil and it's a payday. So this will always be one of the better paying loads. Probably stepping up to four cars at some point. But at this point, two is definitely going to be enough. And then we're going to have to start building in some holding and some yards. Stuff like that for all the locos. Probably see about putting in a roundhouse or at least some loco storage if you will coming up yeah there's one of those where the throttle was on but not on all right i'm not exactly sure we're gonna be good with the first switch so not worried about that. The second switch will probably have to catch. Then hopefully we got the dock lined up all decent and whatnot for the drop. Oh, we will have a break up here to, or uh, not a break, a uh, switch. Oh, we're definitely not going to get a jump off the locomotive. Ooh, this is going to be tight. We made it. Plenty of room to spare. No problem. Alright, hopefully we got all the trees, because uh, honestly, this has not been checked. Probably should have the light on the loco. It's not exactly bright out yet. No rear facing light on Eureka if there's a drawback. I find that that's probably it. gonna get there survived intact Let's see if we are close enough hopefully we're close enough to the dock here that everything is gonna work out okay and we won't have any problems all right easing in we're good on that one should be good right there Nice and easy. I don't know. How bright is it? Does this actually show up still? Yeah, that's showing up still. So we'll throw that on there. Why not? Doing its thing. Get a little light. Alright, let's see if this works now. We got 80. Make sure. Whoa, whoa. Keep it coming. Alright, somewhere in here it's going to drop. There we go. What? Whoa! Ah! Check that. <laughs> All right, that's insane. It's just bouncing off. All right, whatever. It's working. They're bouncing in there. That is definitely not the old roll in that they used to be, and they definitely are not falling straight into the car. So, all right, let's see. Is this working now? This one's going. Uh oh. Okay, so that one is not working. So 
so somehow okay that one's gonna have to be a little closer to the dock all right well not exactly sure what that's gonna do to our loading process today because we have a train here in the way so we're just gonna get what we can get they definitely fall out of the sky a little different than they used to and that is going away from the dock ever so slightly I think down here so we must just be missing it. I mean it got one I don't know why I won't get any more than one if it got one yeah that's kind of weird that it'll get <laughs> got the first one but it won't get any more so that's a little weird whatever We'll take what we can get, then we'll move the rail over a little bit. We can definitely be closer. I didn't want to be too close, apparently. That's not the problem, if anything. So, now we know. So we'll just slide that over a little bit. Shouldn't be too hard of a fix there. Easy, though. So how many are we getting here? 46. All right. 40. That's a bummer because we're not going to be able to load the back. Three. There's four. That is insane. Five. Alright, that should be enough there. I suppose we do have 34, so we could just pull that four and throw them in there, and then we'll just move over the. Uh, rail for the next pickup whatever not that big a deal I guess there you go first pickups never always work according to plan I can't believe well and the weird part to me is is that it picked up one if anything it almost looks like it's going the other direction though what I don't know Try moving, well, actually, because it's further, well, whatever. Try moving it closer, see how that works. See if we can get it worked out, get the other barrels picked up. Probably just needs to be a little closer, a little bones in there. What's the problem? Okay, nothing's the problem. They're just, they're just, now, now they're falling right in there. Oh, look at that. So for some reason, now they're not even bouncing off the dock. They're just falling right in there. So there's definitely something going on there with the drop-off. i got to be honest. I mean, that's not exactly what they should be. And then I do notice that these are loading one at a time and not three at a time, too. So, But that's really weird because obviously the last car, they were all just bouncing off the dock. And now for some reason on this car, they're just dropping right into the car. And they wouldn't drop here, so I don't know. Maybe something with the car has something to do with how they're loading. I don't know, but that's awfully kind of weird. So, you know, whatever. Anybody else experiencing weird drops with the oil, feel free. Put that in the comments down below. But that one's obviously a little weird. Not sure what's going, going on with that one. Probably a little frustrating for some oil barrels. A good payday. So you get these tied up in here and can't get them out of here. But I'm sure we can get them out of there one way or another. Whether this has go, got to go in or out. You know, whatever. Experiment and play around with it. But this is definitely weird. Because they were bouncing off the dock a second ago. And now they're falling right in the car. So that definitely raises a question of like, right, what is that? Because that's unique and definitely different. But, all right, there we go. So we got loaded up what we can get loaded up. We'll take this in and see if we can get paid. I don't know. I almost want to back this up and try again now on that other one just because that's just kind of weird. Whatever, I'm going to try it. Just because, well, because like I said, that was weird. Weird that one minute they're bouncing off the dock and the next minute they're falling right in the car. Probably didn't go back far enough there. Figures. Alright, let's see if we can scoot this back. A couple, three, four more feet, whatever. Get it in the middle of the car. Maybe that'll help make a difference. Let's see what happens now here with this 
barrel. Wait, did it go in there? So like again, the first one went in there and then not. So I'll definitely move that closer. It does look to me like it's a little further away from the dock than that other one. So I'm going to try moving it closer. I'm sure that'll get it straightened out, but we'll see what happens. We got 37 in there. Close enough. <laughs> throwing around enough oil barrels. They're worth enough money that throwing them around is a silly idea. All right, let's see if we can get this thing rolling out of here. Grab some wood. Chuck that in there. Nice morning runs turning into a bit more work. But that's okay. I would think this one still pays. Not that we're hurting for money in any way, shape, or form. We're definitely not. Let's go ahead and we'll take a look. Yeah, still $179,000. So plenty of cash on hand. Tested track here. Obviously, we're running all the drop offs. Not that I think we ever tested it for crazy high speed, but I don't think we'll be running into any trees or bushes, rocks, or sticks all along the way. A little bit bummed out that we didn't get that second car totally full, but you know, such as it is. First run out there, I mean, this one's still going to definitely cover the cost of the loco to run it. And, you know, from here out, we're pretty much profit on this. Senseless whistleblowing for no reason. Just, you know, fan whistleblowing. Whistle fanning, I don't know. Do you like the mound out here? For absolutely no reason gives it a little bit of character kind of cool had to go around it a little run around the hill if you will thinking about probably putting in some yard out here this is nice and flat this whole area kind of in here so this would lead to a decent place i think to actually put some yard and some storage so we may be doing that <clears throat> yeah Kind of think of all the places so far. I kind of like in here. At least the ability to hold a few trains down in here would be nice. Oil kind of has this thing going. I think we'll have some, a couple of, you know, I don't know, two, three yards probably around the layout so we can have locos stored in different places. That way you don't have to always run across the map. do also look forward to starting to run mixed trains now that, the, now that the layout is getting finished. We have plenty of locos and plenty of rolling stock that we can just start mixing it up and throwing different trains together and letting them kind of run the layout. That's going to be kind of the multiplayer plan with this thing rather than running unit trains. We'll run a lot of mixed trains. We'll still have a few unit trains here and there obviously but Going forward to some mixed trains. Go running up a little bit of a hill. Yeah, with no regulator on it, struggle a little bit there. I <laughs> have 4% reg. But this run, I don't anticipate issues. down just a touch as we swing around this corner last place a person wants to derail sliding into home -dum -dum -dum. never a good plan see as currently we're storing two of the locos here at the depot we only have the center line open over there which is kind of sketch not really the plan, so 
it's getting to that point now where we're definitely going to need to start putting in some holding and some yard work so probably dump some of this money and we'll call it construction costs or something would not be sad to necessarily see some construction costs with some of the buildings that would be kind of cool all right so yeah really no point in paying it to all that close of attention as to what this does pay because this is just a random oddball card and we're going to turn around and put 37 in the car so but we'll definitely get paid some a fair amount of money out of this anyway i mean we were at what 179,000 or something uh, are we getting paid for this yeah we're getting paid oil does not seem like the super gigantic payday that it once was after getting paid from the uh gold chain that's for sure <laughs> but still always good to put some money in the bank and this one uh definitely does that used to run the four car train so that pays a little more than the two car but you know still a little side money thrown in there not a bad way to go I'm a little over three grand something like that so you know i mean we'll call it an adjustment needed but a little money in the bank and a payday is always good so we're gonna call that one a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day